How's it going lads, Viper here, and welcome to another tutorial on the channel. Today we're going to be attacking advanced skill moves and the best skill moves in the game currently. And if you are enjoying the content at the moment, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel, as we bring out content every day to help you guys get better at fart. And if you do enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like on it. But now we've got that out of the way, let's actually get into the tutorial. So guys, the skill you're seeing on your screen right now is the four touch turn, and this is probably my favorite skill move on the game currently, and it's very easy to perform, as you can see by the controller in the bottom left. And this is a new one that they added, to FIFA 22. I believe they added four altogether, and the other three, other than this one, are all quite bad. But the great thing about this skill move is the exit is good on it, and you exit the opposite way to when you do the skill move, and it's very, very hard to predict. You can also cancel this skill move, which is very, very overpowered. If you guys know how to do the Magidi spin cancel, it exits similar to that, but it is a thousand times better than the Magidi spin cancel. You need a four star skill to perform this skill move, and whilst it's very easy to perform, you will need to get into the practice arena to learn it and do this in a lot of games games to understand how to exit it and the best avenues to use it but without a shadow of a doubt we're starting with a bang here as this is the best skill move in the game currently in my personal opinion what you'll notice from the clip you are about to see is that the great thing about this skill move is you can use it in very tight areas and it completely bamboozles the opposition no matter the level of the opposition this is very very hard to read in the clip you can actually see us use it in two very tight spaces which actually opens up the defense and allows us to thread a pass through it's never the final skill move you'll do it will always be a connector kind of skill move so for example let's say you do it in the middle of the park it will be to open up an angle to take a shot or open up some space to find a very easy pass now for the next skill move we actually have a skill that you can only perform as a cancel and here we are looking at the shot cancel now since fifa introduced skill move cancels this has become the number one skill move to use at a high level this was used religiously in fifa 21 by myself and lots of pros and the reason this was used so much is because it allows you to turn very quickly and once somebody sees your leg getting pulled back they start to think that you're shooting which means they'll commit their defender to try and block the shot in terms of ease of use it's very easy to perform you can do it with a one star skiller once again all you need to do is look at the controller on screen and see how to perform it you can also use this to beat the goalkeeper when you're in the box they tend to die quite early if you're relatively close to them so this is basically another way to beat the goalkeeper like ball rolls and heel to heels one thing to note is after the fifth time you do this maybe the fourth give or take will actually just take the shot for you as that's the balancing act for this skill move so make sure you only do it once or twice in the box the clips you're about to see are going to be some great examples of me using it in and around the box to create some space when defenders overcommit or they just can't read where i'm going because the great thing about this skill move as i said earlier is it allows you to turn really quickly and send your opponent to the shops i would highly recommend getting this into your arsenal as i truly do think that the shot cancel can elevate your game to new levels and because it is so simple to perform you really won't need too much time with this in the practice arena but still get into the practice arena and learn it a little bit because at first this is quite confusing but it will take you five 5-10 minutes in the practice arena to get this down fully. As you are still seeing the clips for the shot cancels right now, I just want to take this time to tell you guys about how advanced these are and how difficult some of them will be to perform. So you really do have to be patient, maybe get into kickoff, maybe go into a game with a friend and just go over and over and over with these techniques because I do promise you these are the best skill moves in the game. I've got over 200 games already on FIFA 22 so you can trust me in this regard. But as I said, just make sure you don't lose your patience because if you do want to get the high results in FUT Champs this season, you are going to have to learn these. There are not too many skill moves that are good this year, as EA did nerf a lot of them into the ground, but the ones I'm showing you currently are the best by miles. Now moving into the next skill move, this one is a bit of a double whammy and is also part of the skill move after this one. So this is a must learn for you guys. So let's get into it. So what you're seeing on screen right now might look a bit stupid at face value. But what we are doing is a half drag back into a reverse elastico. Now whilst this does look stupid in the arena, this was just so you could see how to perform it. In game, this is so effective and was my favorite skill move in FIFA 21 by a mile. This was impossible to predict and sent defenders shopping all of the time in FIFA 21. And it's the exact same in FIFA 22. What you'll also be seeing is me doing the same but into an elastico so a half drag back into an elastico which is just the opposite way from doing the reverse elastico and this sends defenders just as much as the reverse the only difference is you're going the opposite way with the elastico so it all depends really on which way you want to take the defender so let's say you're in the arena with marcus rashford and you're straight on in the middle of the d reverse elastico to get it on marcus rashford's strong foot to get the angle for a finesse shot but let's say you're in the same scenario but with riyad mahrez you're going to want to do the elastico to position it onto his strong foot as i'm showing you 
a combination skill move here. This is the most effective way to get the most out of the reverse and the elastico. You can also use these on their own without the combination of the drag back, but to get most use out of this skill move, you have to do it with the drag back. Obviously, this is a five star skill move and it's best performed with players with at least a four star weak foot, as you can cut both angles and you can trust a four star weak foot to score goals with. Obviously, Neymar is the best in the game of it. Reason being, he has five star, five star, so you can exit anyway and shoot on either foot. This one is not going to be easy for you guys to learn. Not only are you going to have to learn this in the practice arena, you're going to have to learn this in game, which could be pretty difficult, but just have a look at the clips that I've got for you guys and you can use that to see where the best areas are to use this combination of skills and hopefully that will help you out. Make sure you go back and look at the controller if you are struggling to figure out what the angle is you need to do this at on the analog stick. Just remember it is a five star skill move and you only need to do a half drag back. All of these skill moves are important to learn, but I personally believe that if you can get this down to a T, any variation of the elastico and reverse elastico using a combination will take you to different levels on FIFA. So with that being said guys, we are now going to get into the last skill move of the video and this one is going to be quite lightly used as a skill move. You can perform this one with one star skillers as well, but to get the right exit on it, you're going to need at least four star. This one is also going to look a bit silly in the practice arena, but it is so simple and the word skill move is used lightly in this scenario as all you need to do for this one is tap L1 or left bumper to bring you to a dead stop, but that's not all. This is a combination skill move as well as this is also something you want to use with the elastico and the reverse elastico. You'll see in the clip shortly that this is insane if you time it right with the elastico. So this skill move is essentially an easier way to stop the ball dead instead of having to go through the long animation of a fake shot stop as that animation all in all probably takes about two three seconds this one literally takes half a second if that if you can get this in your game and try and remove the fake shot stop this will also add to your game it's kind of a quality of life thing as instead of having to go for a two three second animation you'll be able to perform this within a second we've seen in the clips now how easy this is to perform and how quickly it stops the ball for you to then chain it into an elastico or reverse elastico i actually show both in the clips one extra thing to add to this skill move is that let's say for example you tap l1 you stop the ball you do it into an elastico after that elastico you can then stop it again using l1 and then go into a reverse elastico this is so unpredictable nobody reads it so guys that's everything for the skill moves today if you did enjoy today's tutorial make sure you leave a like on the video and you're subscribed to the channel if you're not already i also stream every day over on twitch.tv slash fireplayization so if you want to see some gameplay with me performing these and ask any questions make sure you go over there i'm live every day from 11 a.m uk so don't hesitate to come over but once again bros i hope you did enjoy today's video more custom tactics on the way and i'll see you tomorrow take care